Welcome back. We'd now like to go to the final part of putting our dish together. We put our shortbread in the fridge for 20 minutes and then took it out. And I've just put it through the oven now, just under 200 degrees, depending on what kind of oven you've got. And then once that shortbread comes out, which I'm going to take out now, we're going to let that, it's just nicely done now, we're going to just let that cool for a few minutes before I put it onto my wire. So while they're cooling, I just want to bring you down to where we are doing our chocolate mousse. And if you remember, I've got my chocolate in here now, put it in a slightly bigger bowl so it's a little less messy. And I've got my chocolate in here. There's butter, sugar, egg yolks, and cream. So now I'm gonna add egg whites. Now I have to say, egg whites, the egg whites there, and then just need a little bit more whisking again, so we just leave it for a few minutes. Immediately lose. You see what we're looking for? Is that? Yep, they're really stiff though, that's what we're looking for. So now I'm going to add those to my chocolate mix. So firstly what I'm going to do, I'm not going to add all the egg whites, I'm just going to add about a third of the egg whites. And I'm just going to fold those into my mix. Like that. Not too, just so we've got a nice coming together of that. the rest of the egg white mix once that mixed in but this time we have to be really careful how we fold this in so that we keep all our air in this so here we're just going to turn it over eventually we're just coming together now and there we are that's it and that's our mousse done that's our chocolate mousse done now before we put it in the moulds make sure we taste it That's good. So make sure our mousse tastes nice. Now, I'll let my shortbreads cool for a few moments. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take those and put those onto my wire to cool. The next thing I do, if you've got a piping bag, it makes life a lot easier. So I'm just going to put some of my chocolate mousse into a piping bag. And you see I put it on a, a measuring jug so it's a bit easier to hold. And I've got something that's called Demitasse cups here. So now I'm going to fill these Demitasse cups with chocolate. You can use any cup you want to. It so happens these are quite nice cups so I'm going to use these. The nicer crockery you've got, the better it's going to look. So I'm just going to fill these pretty much to the top. Some more mixing. You see, because I've used a piping bag, we've actually not got any chocolate dripping, loose dripping down the side. And if you use a spoon, of course, the problem is it can be a bit more messy. Right to there. And if you, if you can get it in first time without actually getting messed around the cup, then you don't have to go back and clean all the, the cup afterwards. So we're just going yeah. so to bring that into here. So I'm going to get about six portions out of this mix. Five here so far. Top those up a little bit. And that's our chocolate mousse mix. So to finish, and again it's nice if you can get some nice crockery to do this. So let's put those to one side there. So I'm just going to put napkin for this to stop this slipping. 
Right, well, I'll stop that slipping. On the next thing, lastly, what I would do, normally I let these in the fridge for a little while to cool, but today I'm just going to show you. We normally just put a little bit of cream on like that. If it's the right time of year, we put a raspberry on there as well. And you could always put, just put a bit of chocolate on top. It's great, a little bit of chocolate, or you can use a. Okay, so that's that part of it. And then we'll just put cut a nice piece of shortbread there to finish that off with. And a lot of this is about the actual crockery I've used to serve it on as much as it is the dish. So that is my chocolate mousse with coffee and we've got shortbread to go with it. Thank you very much. So don't forget all this recipe is written out for you ready to do. Thank you.